So she was just fine with him, marrying him. And now that it's going south, he must be destroyed. We're seeing all the articles leaked about how he's mean, he's sour puss. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are cooked. They will divorce, I predict, before the end of August. Jennifer Lopez is reportedly devastated after Ben Affleck finally decided to take the first step towards divorce. Well, that's what people on the internet have been saying, especially after new reports about what's happening between the couple started spreading online. Mainly about how Ben and Jalo spent the 4th of July apart and have not been seen together for months now. I mean, people are saying that that's not something a married couple would do. Yes, they can take a few weeks off from each other, but hasn't it been too long now to even get back together? And oh, did I mention that Ben was seen driving around town without his wedding ring? Yup, the actor had been spotted without his wedding band again. And while some of you might say that there had been a lot of times the couple were photographed without the ring and still insisted they were together. But guess what? Close sources to the couple say that this time it's for real. Okay, so a lot is going on right now in Tinseltown, but people are still very curious about JLo and Ben. Well, rightfully so because this couple has been giving out mixed signals since the rumors about their divorce broke on the internet and ever since people have been guessing what really happened or what's about to happen most of us already know that ben has been living away from jello for months now in his brentwood rental now this is one of the biggest hints he might have dropped ever while he never really comments about the issue or confirms one of the biggest hints he might have dropped ever the status of their relationship paying thousands of dollars every month so he can be alone and away from Jalo speaks volumes. This is why most fans are saying that the two are basically separated. They're just not ready to disclose all the details or maybe someone is stopping them from doing so. A lot of fingers are pointing at Jello because she has a reputation for making sure her public image is squeaky clean and getting yet another divorce on top of her failed relationship is not going to do her any good. She had been labeled for a lot of things, mostly controlling and a little difficult to be with and even Ben allegedly had enough of her behavior that he decided it was better to separate himself physically from his wife and get a rental away from him that thing and in Jennifer's case uh, I don't think there's enough followers or, or, or movies or records or, or any of that stuff to to still that part of you that still feels a longing and a pain and now people are blaming her for what happened between her and Ben. Of course, she's just, um, she has a lot to say about that. But before we jump into her statement, let's first discuss the elephant in the room. I mean, we can't forget Jennifer Garner, right? She had been spotted multiple times visiting Ben on his rental, which led us to another point. Ben might be getting advice on how to handle his upcoming divorce. You see, Jen and Ben had been very close even after they separated. And Jen is pretty active when it comes to supporting her ex-husband during difficult times. Who knows what they are talking about whenever she visits, but you can't deny that they might be having seat down talks about what Ben should do with his relationship with J-Lo has finally finally met her match. Jennifer Garner recently visited the home of her ex-husband, Ben Affleck. That's partially true. However, some sources explain that Jen is trying to mediate between the spouses. She is allegedly encouraging Ben to fix his marriage with JLo. Hmm, okay, that makes sense, but whatever encouragement she is giving Ben, I think we can all agree it's not really working, especially after the most recent updates about the issue. So, it was reported that JLo and Ben did not celebrate July 4th together. Yep, you heard that right. I mean, I mean, they could at least get together for the kids, but they did not. According to a source close to the singer, she spent the holiday with family and friends in the Hamptons, New York, and always enjoys the coastal location. Well, that family did not include Ben, but the source added that she seems fine. Meanwhile, another source also dropped some new information about Ben since everyone was curious about where he was. Was he in his rental? Did he spend the fourth with Jen? Or maybe with someone else? Well, it was later revealed that Ben Ben was in Los Angeles, visiting his office and spending time with his three children. And then JLo was recently photographed shopping with her manager, Benny Medina, in Bridgehampton, New York. Meanwhile, Ben was seen at Baltair Restaurant in Los Angeles. Both he and the Let's Get Loud singer were seen wearing wedding bands. That's a good sign, right? A lot of people are saying that since they are still wearing their wedding bands, they'll probably get around their issues and get back together. End of the problem. Well, that's not likely to be the case. You see, new photos of Ben have been circulating 
circulating on the internet. And while there's really nothing unusual about the pictures, you'll notice something is missing if you take another look. Yes, the wedding ring is gone. First it's on, then it's off, then it's on. No, I'm not talking about the relationship. I'm also not talking about the big smile that he's got, although it is nice to see Ben finally smiling. What I am talking about is his wedding band. It hadn't been two weeks and he took off his ring again. Of course, this got people thinking, is this his first big step towards divorce? I mean, he had been seen without his ring a couple of times before, but this time it's different. Things are more shaky now between him and JLo and the timing just makes sense. This was ahead of their wedding anniversary. So he was either being careless and forgetting his ring before heading out, or he was giving hints that he was about to call it quits. Um, not to mention how there were also a couple of instances this month where he was seen out in public without it. Like when he had lunch with his daughter while JLo was in Italy enjoying her vacation. And you can't deny that it's not making sense to assume that they are still together when this is happening, right? At this point, anything is possible. And a lot of people can't stop talking about it. They just wanna know the status between these two because honestly, it's been dragging on for too long now. Don't even get me started with what fans have been saying. Just like this person who wrote Damn Those Two. 20 plus years of pine for each other and that's how they end it. While another added, they are way two different people. He needs a plain Jane, cause that's his vibe. Him and Garner were a perfect match until he it up. Well, we already know how Ben didn't really like all the attention they had. Even before the divorce became so big that everyone was talking about them. There were even reports before that Ben had enough of how Jello liked making things so public. And of course, we can't forget all the rumors about Jello being so controlling that Ben felt so suffocated in the marriage. Basically, a lot of people are blaming Jello for why their marriage is not working out. And at one point, almost everyone agrees. Guess what? Jello didn't really like those accusations and reported feeling wrong that she was getting all the blame. Recently, her friends allegedly revealed what the singer really felt. And let's just say she has a lot to say about the matter. Well, she had been pretty low key about it, which is extremely out of character, but here she is now. And insider spilled the tea saying, everyone in JLo's circle feels it's pretty unfair that she's the one getting all the blame in this. Before adding, you just have to look at the way Ben's been behaving to see the sort of anger issues he's got. No doubt JLo is quite pleased people are starting to get a glimpse of who Ben really is. It doesn't stop there because allegedly, Jalo is trying to expose Ben and make sure everyone knows she's not the villain in the story. The source adds, as charming as Ben can be, he also has a pretty miserable side, which is something Jennifer endured a lot of the time when the cameras were off. She never wanted the marriage to end, but the more she reflects, the more she realizes she was the one doing all the work, constantly trying to lift his moods and make everything perfect for him. Truth be told, she's so much better off without him. Hmm, but not everyone agrees with that Jello. And she started bringing up the fact that she was the one making people talk about their marriage in the first place. Do I have to remind you about the documentary she released earlier this year? And she is just so in love with herself and in love with the movie she made that everyone told her not to make, that she made a documentary about that movie that everyone told her not to make. What movie was that? Like, this is me now. You know, Ben was very skeptical about it because he didn't want to share many intimate details about their marriage. And yet, Jalo still went with it and even got Ben to come here and there. A lot of people disagreed with the Jalo's sentiments. For instance, this fan wrote, maybe JLo thought that oversharing her personal life was courage, while privacy, which most people want, was cowardice. It seems like she genuinely doesn't understand the concept of privacy. While another added, she exposes the entire relationship to to the media and in the end she blames the only person who wanted privacy in this never told love story. Well, at this point, Jello and Ben are still together. You know, until one of them confirms that they have already separated, but until then, the guessing game continues. But what do you guys think? Is Ben really divorcing JLo? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.